Hey butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with the me, Mona Cole. Here we are all about evolving our loud in our life, our money and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes from the channel because it's always appreciated, my loves. And a major shout out to all of the channel members as well as the members over on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continuous support as well. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out as well to those of you all who have patronized my tea and candle company. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you a long time. So we are getting into an ancestor message um, in this channel reading, okay? Um, this ancestor energy of what I was feeling as I was starting to channel into the energy was um, someone is watching. But I don't mean it. Oh, I just burped, yeah. I don't mean it in a bad way or like a toxic way. Or even in like a malintent stalking type of way. You have people who are watching you because of your energy at this time. They're noticing changes within you. They're wondering like, how were you able to change the way that you've changed? They're wondering, how did you get to this place of where you're at right now? I'm hearing the sense of some of you all, even at work, they're looking at you on your work and how you do what you do. And they're like, OMG, like this person deserves so much more. Like some of you all are being watched by like a supervisor um, to be up for promotion, I'm hearing as well. But you never know who is watching you. You never know who is watching you. And so I was hearing, give, continue giving them something to watch. You know what I'm saying? But what that means is not doing things just for the attention. But keep being yourself. Don't stop being yourself. Within this ancestor energy, I'm feeling it really heavy. This is not the time to stop being yourself because you have people who are watching you and they are watching you as a, a motive, even like motivation. You know, it could be a family member. They notice that you're taking steps and doing things different from how you all may have been raised. And they're like, wow, I see how it's working for them. I see how it's changing them. It's changing their energy. I want some of that. You get what I'm saying? And so this is giving the energy of keep going, keep going, keep growing, keep advancing, keep evolving. Because you never know who's watching you and who is being motivated by you. Okay. And you have the strength of all of your ancestors behind you. And they see, like this person sees you connecting in other manner and it, like in other ways and things of that nature. And it's like, you and you just being yourself is motivating them to want to start seeking further into something. Something that you're doing is motivating others to want to seek further into like what they're doing, their life, what's coming upon them within their life. You know, you have people wondering like, are they doing this? Are they cast spells? Are they got this person work? Like they're just wondering, they're watching in like this state of wonder when it's like you really are just embracing the magic and the energy that has been put inside you from your ancestors. You are literally, you know, that saying when they say you are your ancestors' wildest dreams, you are a culmination of all of their energy, whether if it's a blood ancestor or an ancestor who was a friend who passed over, a lover who passed over. A friend of the family who you were connected to that passed over. Ancestors are not just those who are in our bloodline. But it's something about communication. Someone's going to be coming up to you really soon. Um, like admiring you or telling you how much you have helped them. How much you have motivated them. And some of you all may have not even realized that you do this. Because you haven't been seeing your progress and this is giving a vibe of the ancestors to take a moment to stop. See, I'm starting to feel like I'm talking with a list. Someone in here talks with a list and you don't like how you talk. You don't like how you communicate, but other people love it. It's something about yourself that you break yourself down or you talk about or you complain about whatever the case is, not realizing that other people see it and they love it. They adore it. And this is the time to embrace all of you. Your spirit chose your body before you even came here. You never know who is watching you, who is being motivated. Meanwhile, you may be in a corner, you know, crying.
crying or doubting or worrying or being upset that you feel like you're not making the changes that you need to make. Meanwhile, someone else is looking at you like, how, how are they doing it? The ancestors are saying, embrace where you are at right now. It's time to take a moment to stop and take stock and inventory of how far you have come. It's time to take stock and inventory on how far you have come. I just saw the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You have a lot of wisdom that you have obtained over the course of life through your experiences and as well as through the experience of your ancestors and things that you have learned from your lineage. Take it. It's all a culmination of what it is that you're meant to do. Take it and put it into your work. Keep putting it into your work. But I'm hearing that you need to take a moment to just stop and sit back and really notice what all you have been doing and like how much progress you have been making. Some of you are about to get employee of the month. I'm hearing employee of the month. And you weren't expecting it at all. You weren't expecting it. Ace of Swords. Three of Scarabs. And the four of... Thank you, ancestors. <laughs> Thank you, ancestors. So this communication, you speak a lot of truth. You communicate a lot of truth. You communicate your truth. You rest in your truth. You've been seeking new knowledge. You've been fearless, at least, at least how other people view you, you view fearless. Even if you feel stressed out or worried on the inside, other people view you as being fearless, as being a warrior, as giving Sekhmet energy. And when I said people are watching you, look at this, the three of scarabs, you see how they're watching him, his supervisors and things of that nature, watching how far he's come along with his work on the pyramid. They're observing, they're giving their, their mode of approval, okay? And this is giving the energy of you have people who are higher up than you or what you suspect is being higher up, right? Because you may be higher up spiritually than them. They may just be higher up on a physical hierarchy here on this physical earth. But they're watching you and they see you have something to you that not everyone has. And it's because your ancestors have been working with you or you've been working with your ancestors, haven't you? You've been working with your ancestors, haven't you? They feel it. But they don't know exactly what it is. They just know that it's something. I can't even, I'm trying to see the time. It looks like it said 808 on the time. Y'all, listen, so the, those of you all who are new on the channel, Ancestors has been having me take my glasses off to read. And I have a very, my eyesight is, my astigmatism is all the way up there. And my eyesight is like from here to there. Like it just, yeah. So even with the cards, sometimes I have to look close. <laughs> But, um, so if you see me squinting and things of that nature, it's because my eyes are just trying to auto-correct itself because I'm not used to not wearing glasses. I've been wearing glasses since I was five years old. So for 30 years, okay? <laughs> and so if you have higher ups that are watching you and seeing the work that you do, what you've been providing, what you've been creating, you're about to be invited to like on a project. Some of y'all are about to be invited to work on a special project that not everyone is being invited to work on. And you may find yourself being surprised because remember I said, you're just focusing on yourself. You ain't paying attention to it. The four of onks. Is he paying attention to that onk that's, that's being offered to him? No, he in his own world. He ain't paying attention to none of it. And so that's a part of the reason why you are being awarded this energy because you're not out here paying attention to what this person do, what this person do, all up in this person business, all up in this person business. You've been focused on yourself. You've been focused on your healing. You've been focused on what you need to create for yourself. And that energy is exuding out and other people notice it. People are noticing you before you notice them. You don't even know they exist, but they know you exist. And so the ancestral energy is saying, keep going. Keep going. Keep creating in the same energy. Keep building in your energy. Because you may not see the outcomes or the final project now, but you have up people who are planning for you that you don't even know. 
because they see the power. They see your authenticity. They see the humility. They see the innocence. And I'm not getting that this is the energy that want to take advantage of you. Because a lot of you all have been in spaces with people who wanted to take advantage of that energy, which is why you may have closed off in a lot of ways. But I'm feeling the sense of you are attracting individuals who want to see the good in you. They want to see you get more, more exposure, more money. They just want to see you keep growing. Now, this is giving physical energy, but best believe your spiritual connection is what prepared you for this. Now, whether you're someone who wants more finance or not, that's on you, okay? But I'm speaking to those of you all who do, and there's nothing wrong for wanting that. Don't let anyone try to come to you and say, oh, money is evil and you shouldn't want this. You should Ignore the one too. It may not be for you. You can live that life if you want to live that life, but you have the choice to live the way that you want to live. And don't let anyone come in and try to change that for you. I don't know why I just had to say that because I feel like, I don't know, maybe somebody going to come up in the comments and say that because somebody always come up in the comments and saying some stuff. Like, baby, keep it to yourself. You are allowed as a spirit having a human experience to enjoy this human experience. You're allowed that. And don't let anyone make you feel like you're not. But this energy with this Ace of Swords, you need to know that you have people watching you and they're motivated by you, baby. They are highly motivated by you. So keep doing what you're doing is what I'm hearing because you're walking in your purpose. You're doing what you are meant to do at this time. So keep walking, keep learning, keep growing. And that's why a lot of you all may have not realized that, you know, these people are watching you or paying attention to you because you're like, I still got so much work to do. I still have so much growth that needs to be had. And that's fine. We all do. We all do. But it's okay to embrace what you've already done and accomplished. It's okay. It's okay to stop and say, I'm proud of myself. And you know, it's crazy. I had that written down for another message. And I didn't realize that that was supposed to go with this message. So I'm going to add that into this one. And so I wrote it down and was like, be proud of yourself and the work that you've accomplished and done. Um, it's making me think about the song by Kristen T. Y'all know I, they're one of my favorite manifestations. Y'all, why was I? I was putting up my hands to my face like I was trying to push my glasses up to see. <laughs> All right, so um, it was hearing, uh, I'm so proud, so proud of myself. I'm so proud, so proud of myself. Depend on me before anyone else. I'm so proud, so proud of myself. I'm so proud. I'm independent and I'm self sufficient. Hey, I'm actualizing all of my potential. Hey, <laughs> my power is astonishing. I'm dripping in that guy for this. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love all that music anyway. But this is just giving this energy of take a moment to stop and just really analyze how far you have come. You dope as hell. You dripping, baby. Too much sauce. You got the father of coins. That's finances. That's a boss. Someone is speaking really highly of you right now. Someone who has higher authority over you in some way, they are speaking highly about you and you don't realize it. You do not realize it, baby. Yes, Ace of Sticks. Because you do your work. You don't complain. You just get it done. And when you do complain, you complain to yourself. It be in private. Everybody don't hear it. Everybody don't get to see it. But it's something about your action and how you put things into play. It's like someone even sees that. It's like someone is going to be wanting to invest in you. For you to be able to create a project or something that is much bigger than what you can even imagine now. Oh, I like this. Yes, then you got the mother of basket. 
this. And you see how she's reaching out her hand for you to grab it? Someone's about to be offering you something like, come with me. Come on. Come with me. Come with me. Sorry, I just got a message. Let me write it down real quick. This is for another message. That's the other ancestor message. This mother of baskets is saying, come with me. I have something to show you and offer you. And you'll be glad that you did. Because it's going to advance you and with something that you're working on. Baby, we got this whole message with only six tarot cards. That's the message. If you claim it, put a, a water drip, a faucet, some juice, a juice box. Because you got the juice, baby. Okay? You got the juice. You got the sauce. You out here dripping. And your ancestors are saying, like, those dark days, they're behind you right now. So look at things from another perspective because you never know who you're influencing. And then you influencing them who they're telling about you. You got people speaking your names up in rooms that you have, have yet to even step foot in. Speaking of you in rooms that you have yet to step foot in. So keep advancing yourself. Keep growing yourself. Keep learning yourself. And have more grace with yourself. Just pour our libations. I think it's time for me to change out my soil. So I'm going to be doing that because I know my plants outside because the way they're dying, I'm still putting water in it. I think it's time for me to change out my soil. And that's why they acting like that. Got my feelings over here hurting. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, changing out the soil of my plants this year. But um, I don't know where that just came from. Maybe that's part of, you know, your energy planning. Oh, no, that go with this other one. But you got too much sauce. So let it drip, baby. Let it drip. And let it whip, whip it, baby. And whip it right. Whip it, baby. Whip it all night. Hey. All right. Oh. And let it whip. <laughs> and as always, always be real. Always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. Period. I love you all. And as always, continue to bloom.